This week on Praxis Prepper, will our hero be able to navigate through unknown lands? Yeah, no problem. I got a GPS right here. Let me just see if I can get a signal. Without a GPS. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I get a compass. So, see if I can find, find north here. Without a compass. Yeah. Okay, um, well, it's just about noon. So the sun should be south, so... In the middle of the night. Okay. Uh, well, constellations. I can find some stars and find the North Star. Let's With see. total cloud coverage. Oh, well, that makes it a little more difficult. And naked. Oh, come on, man. What the f YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper. If you find yourself in an unfamiliar environment and you're trying to navigate and figure out which direction is north or south or east or west, uh, there's lots of different ways of doing that. Obviously, there's having a compass, and that's a good thing that you should have on your person at all times, I think, and I do that. But if you don't have a compass, there are other ways that you can do it. Now, if you're in the woods, there's all sorts of clues. So you can figure out what what sides of things uh, are tending to get the sun. Up here in the northern hemisphere where I live, the south side of objects are the ones that uh, tend to be obviously getting more sun. So there's more plant growth, if it's a, a house or a structure like that, it might be more bleaching, more obvious damage from the sun on that side. And the north face of something is going to have less of that. But if you are in a, a suburban or a city environment and you can't see the sun necessarily, and you can't see the stars, and oftentimes even street signs won't be all that helpful. There could be a road that says north-south, but in the section that you're at, it might be headed more of an east-west direction than anything else. Uh, there are still clues that you can look for right in that suburban environment, and one of them is satellite dishes. Now, not the kind that's behind me right over here. What I'm talking about is the small satellite dishes, the ones that do satellite television for people. Now, those up here in the northern hemisphere, uh, at least in my area, I suppose as you get closer to the equator, it's a little bit less of uh, less pronounced, but uh, up in my area, uh, we're around like 50 degrees uh, latitude, all of those are pointing generally south in a southerly direction. Uh, now, if you look at it like an apartment complex, oftentimes you'll see a bunch of them, and they'll all be kind of pointing in slightly different directions. So you know that they're not all pointing directly south, but they all have a general southerly direction. They can at least give you sort of a, a sense of average about where generally south is and which direction isn't north. So if you ever find yourself in an, uh, a suburban environment, you're not sure which direction is which, even if you're just driving around, it's really easy to spot these little satellite dishes just stuck to the side of people's houses, and you can get, really quickly get a sense of which direction is south, and then you can figure out the rest from there. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.